Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Be Hood Sunday Devotional. Yeah. 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 Good morning. Yeah. Come on in, Reese. Yeah, Reese had a had a long night. You know, come on in, Reese, into ch -ch -ch church. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see everybody. Right. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the we're we're having a a, a a powerful Sunday devotional in 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 triumph of what God delivered through us at Lake Junaluska, North yeah. Carolina last week. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was something else. It was it, well. First, we're gonna sing, and then we'll talk about it. Yeah. All right. But it was outrageous. And I, you know, before I talk, I'll let some other people talk about it. Uh, uh, so this is. Um, what I'm calling also Supreme Inspiration Sunday and honoring uh, the beautiful man that inspired the song. His name is Dr. Arya Ratni and uh, out of Sri Lanka. Great teacher, great teacher, great teacher. And he passed on. Uh, and I'm remembering him and his wife and his daughters and uh, and his the person who was there, his angelic helper, Krishna. Who is also a filmmaker. His name is sometimes Vishnu Vasa. But uh, Vishnu Krishna does these beautiful films about Sri Lanka and what Sri Lanka goes through and and the power of of the community working and loving together. So uh, these these feel, these these some special people on the planet. And I'm just so thankful that and blessed to have met them and to bring them to you and to have sounds that the spirit brings to me you know because I was inspired by their love and the way they walk the planet you know so uh, I just feel him his spirit in, in the highest heaven and uh, and very thankful and anybody who met Dr. Ari was is eternally blessed because he was that kind of person wouldn't it be great for people to be able to say that about you about me it's like you know that once you're gone, if, if somebody met Leslie McGee, man, they're eternally blessed. People in this room, that's the way I feel about you. You know, I feel like that, that I'm eternally blessed because you're in my life, you know. And uh, so very thankful to have this kind of incarnation. Yeah. So. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> 
celebrating our teachers and one teacher, all the teachers that bring us to the light. That's what life is about. That's what devotion is about. We're not doing the whole song. We're going to do a little bit of it just because it's worthy. This song is worthy. You know, we don't want to get snatched off of YouTube, so we just do a little bit of it. <laughs>
spend much time in the room but right. it was nice just to have a fam familiar spirit that I you know work well with mm -hmm. but oh my god just to see all those people yeah. that mm -hmm. know us from the B hood and and they're like just so willing to give I mean we sold so much merchandise <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it was just flying off the yeah. table yeah. and it was it was one of the best retreats I've ever been to. Right. It was, yeah, it's true. Oh, it's gosh. very true. I mean, I could say that. Yeah. But you know, it's my retreat, so y'all might be a little biased. About it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but pass the mic to, to to brother Mikael. He was there. Yeah. Thank you, Maxine. Thank you, <laughs> and Marion for all your you, and Chef Lori, our helpers that were there. Yeah. Yes. Thank 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 God for the help. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, helpers, helpers. For the helpers. Yeah, yeah. Helpers, the helpers yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Salam alaikum, everybody. Uh, peace right. and blessings to you. I got to say that trip was the second best trip I ever made in my life. Only second to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I Jerusalem was just off the chart, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. This trip here, I didn't even want to leave. Mm -hmm. It was like, I saw, I think I told my uh, uh, Nana Ricky later after it was over with that I saw us doing this as our yob. This is what we do, revive the spirit of mankind and grandmother earth. Mm -hmm. I saw us doing that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do nothing else. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I want, that's how powerful it was for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do nothing else. And my mind is set that, okay, that's what we finna start moving from here, from the bee hood, mm -hmm. to go bless the whole world. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how powerful it was. Yeah, it was powerful. It was very, very powerful. Thank yeah. you, thank you. It was so good. Chef Lori, come on. 
don't, don't you don't have to talk about the food then. We know how you felt about that. <laughs> Some people thought the food was just so delicious. <laughs> it was fresh. It was fresh. <laughs> it's on. Um, I just am still floating around from it. Uh, there was so much joy and so much love there, and, and it was so beautiful. The lake, um, just the atmosphere, it was very peaceful. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait till next year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and speaking of next year, it's, it will be April 26th through the 28th next year. Okay. April 26th right. through the 28th. And uh, so here's a few revival shout outs to um, the B-Hood squad from L.A., that's all y'all. And uh, Joanne, uh, Odessa, Dorisa, and Mo, these are, these, these are sisters, and, and, and Elisa, Candace, and Shaka. Candace and Shaka were the set designers, so they did the lights. They came in, and her name is really Shaka Khan. I, I was like, they named you after Shaka Khan? She said, yes, ma'am. I said, well, then you carrying it good, baby. But they, they did the set design, and it was really beautiful. And these people were, were like four hours from Lake Junaluska. You know, they, they, they didn't live right down the street. They weren't from Asheville and came up the lake 30 seconds, 30 minutes up to the lake. They didn't do that. They, they drove in to support what it is we were doing, and that's very special to me. So here's, and this, that's the B-Hood in North Carolina. Here's a shout out to Mona Elias who, who, who promoted the whole event over WPFW, the Pacifica radio station in Washington, D.C., uh, uh, Maryland, and uh, uh, Virginia. And people came from D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Oh. Yeah, they represented, and they represented beautifully. So here's a shout out. They came from New York. New York. Marcus Hoffman flew down from New York. D was right there, who came from D.C. Here, the students showed up. The students. Yeah. So many times, you know, you do things, and it's, it's, it's a homog homogenous kind of group. It's just a bunch of old people, or, you know, a bunch of women. This was different. It was women. It was men. It was young people. It was old people. And it was, we were all there together. You know, it was, it was really um, something. The couples, people came with their beloved, their loved ones. So we did a blessing of the couple. Yeah, we did a blessing of the village, the blessing of the students, the blessing of the rugged individualists yeah. who came by themselves, yeah. the blessing of friends, the blessed blessings of family. Because we had family that were there. Yeah. Lots of my family were there. And this is the first time we've been together like that in a long time. So uh, it, was, it was just wonderful. And friends like family. So, uh, so here's a thank you to John and Kathy Stringer who helped, who managed the whole event along with us. Yes. Quinn Fontaine, Rob McDonald, who traveled a long way. Rob came Come and on. met part of his family. Come on. Yeah. Folks, I didn't know. Yeah. And, I, I'm glad I know him. And talk about it a little bit, Rob. You got the microphone. Oh, yeah. Good Good morning or afternoon. Yeah. This morning. Um, I got a call like a few weeks before um, it started, before we were having it. And um, there were some cousins that I hadn't met that were reaching out. I said, oh, you know what? Where you live? And they said, oh, we're in North Carolina. I said, yeah, well, I'm coming. So they got a chance to come out to the event and really be part of it, meet me. And I think I like them. <laughs> yeah, I love them for sure. It's just a little different for me because, you know, uh, they're younger. And I've done younger already. So, But it's nice to get to know family that wants to know me. Amen. Amen. And uh, yeah, I think it changed their lives as well. Yeah, so it was beautiful. Yeah, they were beautiful. They were their yeah. family was beautiful. And uh, it, and then there was the drummer that we picked up on the East Coast, Patrick yeah. Armitage. Yeah. Yeah. Patrick was great. Patrick was bad. He came from Asheville and he played with us. And then there was Georgia Ann Muldrum. Reese Whitaker. Sophia Baidi. They were blowing it up. I mean, and we sounded great because Jermon Baidi. Yeah. 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 This, this was a quote from, uh, from somebody that was there named Trey Eisenhower. Trey was there with, with he brought his sister, Lisa. And who was from Hickory, North Carolina, but Trey lives in uh, Fort Lauderdale. But anyway, he said he was, he, you know, he got a southern twang. He said, I was groove, 
moved and improved. <laughs> so we grooved, moved, and improved, you know. Uh, so, you know, it was just those people, the angelic helpers, Maxine, Mary, Chef Lori, Melody, Taliba, who is Chef Lori's mother, uh, Dan and Kathy uh, were there, si Dan and Kathy Simon, and so many others. And magnificent thanks again to Jermone, who worked on our behalf to deliver a fantastic production. You know, he packed all the stuff, he carried the stuff. You know, it was a, it was quite a journey. And then set that stuff up, and it sounded great. So thank you, nephew. You did it. Okay, I'm getting it. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm in a Marvin Gaye kind of way. Honey, you did it. Okay. <laughs> thank now, we you. can talk about Michael Gale, who showed up. Michael Gale, Jennifer Russell. I don't know if you guys remember Jennifer yeah. Russell. But Jennifer Russell is a beautiful songwriter. She and her husband showed up, and he's a guitar player. So he played with us Friday night all the way up to, to uh, Saturday afternoon. And he can play. He can really play. Oh, no, he played. So, you know, it was bad. It, 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 was, it, was, it was a scene. Okay, it was a scene. So, friends and family who came from near and far to participate in our Soulful Spring Revival in the Blue Mountains, thank you everybody. Uh, and while that was going on, people were other places preparing for the release of loved ones, and Dr. Ari was one such one. Uh, Batima, I don't know if you guys remember Batima, but Batima used to come to the Soul Sisters yes. retreats. Yeah. Beautiful being in the last year, she was on the Wise Women's Council. That was just last summer. And uh, she was, and she blew me away. In incredible wisdom. And she was called home. So uh, her memorial service is this coming, is April 27th, and um, it might be, you know, if you're interested in where it is, just uh, send me an email at rickybyers at gmail.com, and I'll let you know. Kathy Mees' father, uh, they had his memorial service while we were on the road, and here's a shout out to Kathy Mees and Aiden and her beautiful family as they released her dad. And we're still holding Laura O'Connor in prayer as she releases her mother and um, and those are, and, and people who have lost loved ones. You know, some people have friends and family who passed four years ago. You know, and we're and, and you know we're still letting them go yeah. because they were that special. That's you know, right. they were that special. Anybody we walked with, they're still walk. They're with us. Right. You know, so um, we just hold everyone in prayer and um, who might be releasing loved ones and. Just thank God for our days and the days that we have together, that we can honor our days, you know, honoring the days that we are here and the lessons we are learning and our service to what is most high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And this got to be the favorite song. of many people. Whoa. 
Come on. <laughs> the other be hood. I'm in the be hood. see who's live in the house. Who's riding in the house with us today? Right. We got um, all of our lovely people. We thank for all of you guys that are on uh, YouTube and Facebook. But Oceana is in the house. Quinn Fontaine Quinn. says God is good. Say, we say Quinn's name. Good God morning. Yeah, I see Quinn Fontaine's name right here. No, but no, yeah. Well, I yeah, said, you did. You said, said his name. But I didn't say enough about it. And Quinn got a new R&B. And he's traveling around and he's with his mother and they, they having a great time. Hey, Quinn. Yes, sir. We love you. We love you, Quinn. Quinn did great. Miss, Mr. Yes. Hooks is in the house. John Caesar. Dahlia Rose. Ryan Nielsen. Well, all right. Yes. Acting lessons learned says lights and fire. Light of fire. Um, whoever that is, we giving y'all love. Uh, <laughs> But yes, we have, the B-Hood is active today. We got the Sensitive Soul Network. We got Truth Topics by Impress. Yes. Um, and uh, we got some folks on uh, Facebook as well. So thank y'all for chiming in with us and uh, yeah. tell everybody about it. Sign on, tell like, everybody subscribe. Yeah, tell them about it. <laughs> well, all I got is devotion. I just want to sing. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to sing. I know that's it's like there's so much messages in the music. It's like, um, you know, all even right. if I wanted to look like I was deep, you know, I ain't going to be deeper than the songs that God has sent already. You know, I ain't going to be deeper than that. And, uh, and, you know, everybody know me know that, you know, I'm deep. So it's like I don't have to prove that. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm deep. So you, I don't have to prove that I'm deep. And look, everybody in this room is deep. Come on. Everybody here is some deep people. Deep conversation. And I ain't gonna say, touch your neighbor and say, you know you're deep. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> you already know you're deep. You know, you're deep. In your mind, you touch your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> if you're here for God, it's a deep thing, and you're gonna be a beautiful person in, in the scenarios that you show up in. So the idea is to come here so that you can be inspired. We got some people in here who do some very beautiful things with young people, older people. They just, wherever they show up, they show up. They glow up, and the place is brighter because they're there, and that's the attraction. So folks are here, and I just am thankful, you know, for that, for you, for your journey, and our journey together. So, you know. But uh, did you like the piano? You can turn the piano down a little bit in my monitor. It's just kind of loud. Yeah. I'm still thankful for my new piano, though. Yeah, this is a gift. This is a gift. So, uh, you know, I'm open to gifts. All right. You know, there, there's an electric car somebody want to give me. I can feel it. <laughs> Got plugged up for it. <laughs> but it's, it's going to be. Extension cord, everything. That's all right. It'll be free, though. Right. You know, right. I'll get the extension cord. Yeah. But I, for now, I'm thankful for the car I have. Yeah. You know, I say, Isaiah said, what's in your house? Hey, what's in my house is dead. You know. <laughs> Time to 
lost and in the days. I couldn't see straight, blind and in the fog. All it took was a little time with God. And I'm looking at them words. It's deep because the way God works, it was like that's the way God works. Right? That's the way God works. And I tried to say, when I woke this morning, the world was all amazing. Lost and in a days I could see straight. You know, I was, and I was, I, and it was a song that was written for the Agape Choir, because the choir needed some music. You know, the choir needed music because I wasn't doing that choir music that was out there. I didn't do other people's music. I did my music. I like my music, so I did my music. You know. But I didn't have a lot of inspirational songs. I mean, that got a little applause. Thank you. Very much. But 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 it's like. I began to write, and that was the begin. That was the begin. That was the continuation of my journey through inspirational music, in particular. Like my sister would go, like, "You can write. You gonna sing songs I got all the time." Yeah. She was. She was used. She was used to you know love, love songs and different things. So you gonna sing about? You gonna sing songs about God all the time? I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's moving something in me. You know, it's like that's like can you like you know when you when you change your mind about being in the world when you change your mind and the people that you were around they go like you gonna be doing that all the time and you go like yeah what I've been doing with you ain't brought me nowhere but down you know it's like no I'm gonna be doing it down in my heart you know down in my mind it's like no I'd rather walk with God I'd I'd rather walk. This is a setup for it, but in the love of God. In the love of God. In the love. In the love. I'd rather. I'd rather. Walk. In the love of God. Now, Georgia, that's a brim you got, so you know you're blocking half of Reese over there. You know I didn't mean to. You know. So, Reese, if you pull forward a little bit more, just slide forward. And, Georgia, if you I move. Didn't take the brim off. No, no, no. No, no, no. We like the brim. No, no. It's, Every, but everything is just position. <laughs> everything is a position. Like some people have bacon on their plate. Yep. <laughs> That's what you know. Yep. Two slices. You know, you know. Three slices. You know. No. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Eight when things go left on you and you start praying to God, and God is trying to tell you, Ricky told you about that bacon. <laughs> okay, so you take a little time with God, you're going to get that message. Yeah. Take a little time with God. There was a gathering for me. Um, with, with, here's a shout out to Odessa and Joanne. It was such a beautiful gathering. And Apostle um, Clap and the other people, Eric, they showed up. And Deborah, here's a shout out to Deborah, who's in the B hood often. You know, and, and, I, and I started talking about that bacon. He was like, Well, bacon ain't pork. I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 I was like, you know, I, I, just, I should just give people their own process. Just give them their own zone. It used to be pork. It's not pork. You know, let it, you know, but I'm going to tell you, when your body starts going like, you know, don't be asking God why. You just look at your plate. 
Look at your plate, and you can choose better and eat better. If you, if you choose better, you'll be healthier. That's all I'm saying. That's it. If you choose higher, you're going you're gonna to last longer, and you're going to be stronger. Right. You're going to be stronger. So, you know, that's all, that's all I got to say. Cut, cut back on the bacon. <laughs> what you say? I said cut back, you know. Yes. Cut, cut back on my back. Yeah, get that veggie <laughs> bacon. Hold on, now, hold on. I feel what you say. I might go to the yard bird first. But <laughs> <laughs> You're still a young man. You're still a young man. I got time. Man. You're right. I got time. Okay. Bye, Don't waste your time. time. Damage is done. They made your songs. They made your songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to help folks. Try it. Try it. Try it. Okay. Let's just go ahead on and pray. Yeah. Let's just pray. Oh, my. Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. 
and that's where I heard that song for the first time. It's a Coretta Scott King's memorial service, but not the one that was going to be at, 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 at the Eddie Long Church or wherever it was. This was the one that was going to that was the first one. And uh, and man, when that choir got up there and they started singing that song, I was like, I was back home. <laughs> now I was little girl Ricky in Atlanta, Georgia, and they were oh my hand while I run this race. It was incredible. I was like, oh, I, like I got song. a song. <laughs> <laughs> I got a song. I'm taking that one back. <laughs> I'm telling you, ain't that a bad song? Yeah. The, you know, I just love the timing and the melody yeah, so yeah. much. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And I just, here's a shout out to Mama Byers and Lissa Springer. Yeah. 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 They yeah. used to rock that song, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. they, they, oh, man. Yeah. They, 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 uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, that's another that's jazz <laughs> part of it. You know, that was such a, that was such a, that's such a rich legacy. You know, that was such a rich history. And, and because we were all a part, those of us who were a part of it, of those days, you know, mm-hmm. that now that my mother has made her way on and everything, yeah, yes. you know, it, when they would be sitting up there, they'd be dancing each other's oh. hands. They'd be dancing their hands. <laughs> <laughs> my mama loved the party, okay? Yeah, she, loved <laughs> she loved to be at the party. My mama loved to be at the party. I think mm-hmm. I'm going to be like her. John, I'd like to be at the party. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's no doubt. Yeah, I love to be at the party. She'd be partying for God, man. And like Georgia said, <laughs> said this Georgia is hilarious. Because at the first Raj Festival, Raj 13, the Rhythm of Joy Festival, <laughs> and we won't go through the details, but uh, on Sunday morning, uh, Common was performing. Amen. Mm-hmm. And Common followed Mom and Lisa Sprinkles. And then he wrapped them into his, his rap and everything. And Georgia was like, he did something. My mom, my grandmama opened for Common. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she, my grandma opened for Common. So shout out to Common. Bro, she, you showed up, man. You showed up. Creator of the universe, how great you are. Oh.
It's contagious. So you live a good life. Yes. And hold them triumphantly in yes. prayer. That's right. Give them Amen. to God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, by doing your part. But your part, you know, there's this there's this story, real quick story about Gandhi, um, Gandhi's son. His son was having a hard time uh, getting his getting his getting his son to stop eating candy. And they were very concerned about it because they, they wanted his teeth to be strong. They didn't want him to be eating candy all the time. You know, and he was loving candy. He just loved candy so much. And they were going like, you know, you don't need to and he was he'd just be slipping candy and eating candy. And so they go to the grandfather and they go like, you gotta talk to him. He he loves you. He will do what you say, you know, or at least close to it. So can you talk to him? And he said, Well, give me a month. Give me a month. And they were like, What you need a month for? You just, you know, just go talk to him. He talks what you say. He says, I need a month because I got to give up candy myself. <laughs> you know, I got to give it up first. I got to give it up. And then I can hold him in prayer. You know, but first I got to do it. It's like in, we, want, we want health for people, but we don't want to live healthy. You know, it's like do our best. Do our best. That song keeps coming, don't it? <laughs> Georgia, you might quiet over there. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Yeah. Hey, God, don't God love us so much? Yes. Don't God love us so much? Eternally. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Man. Ooh -wee. If you don't know how much God loves you, you do need to call somebody so they can remind you. Yeah. So what y'all want to hear? Yes. Who said that? Jess. Hey, is that Jess or Jess? Hey, Jess. Hi. How you doing? Good. Okay, okay, okay. It's on the list. And I don't know why I hadn't done it. Oh, wow. It's number one on the list. So, 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 she, so, we, so we're going to play it. We're going to do it. These are the words of Yeshua that he's got, he gets the credit. You know. Yes. Now, I, I ain't going to say what I said earlier. Like, I don't have no problem with the Beatitudes, man. <laughs> They're so clear. They're just, you know.
everybody for joining us today. Hmm. Two things I want to say. One, Georgia had, Georgia performed last night, or she shared her gift, her, I don't know if we can call it a performance, you know, uh, like her, her ministry yes. of love through vibration and vibrational sound. And can you just tell us a little bit about it, Georgia, just with something? Yeah, we we were um, um, participating. It was a wonderful lineup of people um, in Venice Beach, and my dear friend from uh, Kansas City, Logan Richardson. He's a very gifted, world class alto saxophonist. Um, he started to embark upon a journey of finding a way to sustainably explore musicianship in a healthier way, involving community. And I love ideas like that. So I said, hey man, I'm on your side. And so yesterday the lineup was uh, Pedro Martins, who's an awesome guitarist, songwriter, um, just composer, amazing. Um, you know, Logan, um, uh, Hashim, uh, amazing, amazing bassist um, coming out of New York. And um, Luca Mendoza, his, his ensemble was his um, one-man ensemble, and I played too. And 
I think the part that was really cool was that all the cars passing by, they had a good time too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that was really cool just to share love. There was dogs barking on beat, <laughs> birds flying over, and you know, like it just was a real, a real stone cold jam. Yeah, yeah you know, great. and uh, yeah, you know, and there's gonna be one next month. Yeah, we're just getting organized now, but I'm happy for how God just steps in and makes up the difference when we're willing to to show up for one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just remembering as you were talking, I was supposed to go pick up Ramona. <laughs> I forgot. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she's on YouTube picking it up. But here's a shout out to Ramona. Uh, and Stacy Aman Yeldell is here with us today. And Stacy has a new book. Well, yes. first of all, Stacy is a great singer. Yes. 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 Stacy is a great singer. Oh, wow. We might be able to have a song, but Stacy, do you feel like singing? Okay. Well, yes. what, 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 get to the microphone. So, tell us about your new book. And did you bring any books with you? Well, I brought children. I brought yours. She brought oh, one book. <laughs> okay, okay. But well, thank you for my book. Yes. But you should bring books by here that we can have in our bookstore. Yes. I mean, our gift yes. shop. Yes. Yeah. Well, that yeah, would because, be a Because pleasure. we love you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ricky. And thank you for having me on your podcast. And thank you for really just being the prototype, the archetype. Hey, and look oh. at here. She needs the everything. You need to position your body oh, so everybody oh. can see your okay. face. Okay, so wait. Okay, okay. Thank you for being that so that, you know, I learned the power of community yes. um, really with this book because there was no big budget. It was all self-funded. Yeah, and all right. I came right. into your podcast and from that and from other little things that happened, my sister doing a party for me, mm -hmm. I was able to get to um, a number one release on Amazon. Yeah. yeah. So wow. I'm just. I'm just so grateful because I learned so much about first putting myself out there. That was the first thing I had to do that was kind of getting past that fear. And then I was so rewarded with community. So thank you, Ricky, for all that you are and all that you bring. I'm so proud yes. of you. I feel like I'm in a weird spot with you. Well, well, you know, I think I think right now so if you just stay switch right with, yeah, you right here. Uh, okay. move your chair, Rodney. I'm going to listen to the sound guy. <laughs> stay, stay, stay right there. <laughs> Can, can she move back this way where Rodney is just so she I can see her more when she sings her song? I don't know how much court. Just move back until you yeah. can't move back. Oh, 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 oh. How about right here? Yeah. Oh, that's, a good idea. Yeah, yeah. that's perfect. Right there. Can you, oh, you can see me now. Okay. Uh, wait, he ain't singing on. <laughs> I ain't singing. No, no. I'm just, you know, I'm just background sitting. Oh, it's too funny. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Okay. So where you want to sing? Mm. Okay. That one. That one. You can. That way. Yeah. I, I mean, I just love <laughs> simple way. Yeah, let's do simple way. Ooh. Yes. Or you can do the other way. This was one. I feel Ooh. like, yeah, let's do that. Because yeah. I, I feel like you mentioned that earlier. Okay. Yeah. All right, Saki, you want to start it off? There is a power. You want to do it? <clears throat> the, 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 I walk in the love of God. Oh. You want to? The first oh, verse, okay. there is a power, yes, and then yes, there is a wisdom. Yes, okay, yes, you want to? Okay, yes. okay. She's not ready. So you sing it, you know it all. First verse. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll do it. We'll do we we'll, we'll work with it. I threw it on her. And and Safi is so good. You know. <laughs> and she's gonna beat me up afterwards. Okay. All right. Get ready for the one you're doing. Okay. <laughs>
Ain't that a bad song?
God and say amen. Mm, did I forget anything? That we rest in God. 